The first photographic image was made by Nicephor Nieps in 1820 to using the heliographic method he invented, but only the image of 1826 a view from a window in Lagrasse has survived. The image was exposed for about eight hours, and then the negative was printed from a metal plate. This is how the plate with the light captured image of the view from the window of Nicephor Nieps looks like. First photograph of a man 1838. Louis Daguerre's Boulevard du Temple in Paris is considered to be the first photograph with a human being on it. The point is that in the first years after the invention of photography, the exposure time was very long. Moving figures did not have time to be imprinted on the picture and seemed to dissolve. That's why in the photos of that time the streets of cities look empty. Here, the shoeshine man and his client remained almost motionless for the entire 10 minutes of shooting. The first selfies belonged to the American photographer Robert Cornelius. Robert was very interested in Louis Daguerre's invention, so he assembled a camera from improvised materials and then experimented with chemical compounds to fix the photo. This self-portrait is the result of one of these experiments. The first member of the royal family to be immortalized in a photograph was Queen Victoria's husband Prince Albert. What makes this photograph interesting is that until then, monarchs had only been immortalized in expensive painted portraits. The use of the daguerreotype emphasized Prince Albert's fascination with new ideas and technologies. This is how Prince Albert looked in a portrait by the painter Franz Windelhardt in the same year, 1842. The experimental images of the plants were taken by Anna Atkins using the cyanotype method, which is why they are blue in color. Atkins compiled the resulting images into the world's first photo book, British Algae Impressions, from Cyanotype, so these images can also be considered the first photographs for the book. The first experiments with scientific photography began as early as 1840. Dr. Alfred Francois Donat captured fragments of bones and teeth through a microscope. The French neurologist Guillaume Duchenne de Boulogne was not only the first to take pictures of people with his patients, but also proved to the medical community that photography had an advantage over drawn images. Oscar Gustavi took more than 30 individual photographs for the photo montage to lifestyles, which were then painstakingly and painstakingly brought together. The plot is based on the story of the choices that two young men have to make in life. However, despite the idea of morality inherent in the collage, the picture caused a great scandal and was recognized as immoral because of the nude models. Edward Mybridge was fascinated by the idea of learning how to make photographic recordings of movement. However, his most famous series, Sally Gardner at a Gallop, was the result not of scientific research but of a dispute. The commissioner of the photographs argued that the horse had all four legs off the ground when galloping, while his mates argued that it did not. A series of 12 photographs helped to settle the dispute, and the technology Maybridge developed played a major role in the development of cinema. As photography evolved, shutter speeds were greatly reduced and photographers were able to begin working with non-stage subjects. Two of the most famous tornado photographs were taken from months apart in 1884 in the United States. The first was taken in April in Kansas and the second in August in South Dakota. The first military conflict that came into the lens was the U.S.-Mexican War. An unknown photographer made 50 daguerreotypes depicting the army, damaged houses and graves. More famous, however, are Roger Fenton's much better preserved images. They were taken almost 10 years later during the Crimean War and depict soldiers' everyday life. Photographs of criminals were tried as early as the 1840s, but the lack of standards made it difficult to use these photographs in police work. The revolution in criminal portraiture was brought about by Alphonse Bertillon. He developed a system for identifying criminals, which was called Bertillonage, and standardized the shooting parameters. He was the first to suggest photographing people in front and profile. George Shearers, an American lawyer, was a keen hunter as a child, and began to use this knowledge in photography. He called his method the torch trap, 
The animal touched an inconspicuously stretched rope, which triggered the camera shutter and the flash at the same time. The first x-ray was taken by the hand of Wilhelm Conrad Rintgen's wife, Anna Bertha Ludwig, who supported her scientist husband in everything he did. The technology created such a sensation that it became a fashionable pastime. The dangers of this type of photography were not yet known, but now x-rays are saving lives. Up until the beginning of the 20th century, the speed of the car was quite low, and photos of the rally looked static. But in 1903, during the Paris-Madrid rally, participants accelerated even up to 140 kilometers per hour, and the photographic equipment improved over half a century. For the first time was able to capture such speeds due to the technical features of the cameras. The wheels of the cars in the pictures turned out to be oval. This shape was then permanently fixed in cartoons. Admiral Robert Peary managed to reach the North Pole on the 6th of April 1909, when this photo was taken. However, a study conducted in 1988 questioned the accuracy of Peary's measurements, the error of the coordinates recorded in his diary could be 50 to 100 kilometers. However, it is impossible to refute his calculations, as well as to confirm their accuracy. So this photograph of the North Pole is still considered to be the first in history. Very often the first color photograph of the Earth is referred to as the image taken in 1972 by the crew of the Apollo 17 spacecraft, but this is incorrect. The very first photograph of the Earth was taken five years earlier by the U.S. Department of Defense's Dodge satellite on the 20th of September 1967. A black and white camera on board took three images of the planet with three color filters. The combined image was named the first color picture of an angry Earth because of Hurricane Beloit, which made its way into the image. We are used to the amazing space images from the Hubble telescope. However, the first of them, taken in May 1990, could only interest specialists. It demonstrated the superiority of photos from orbit over photos from ground-based telescopes. Today, of course, Hubble pictures look quite different. The first digital photograph on the internet was uploaded a year after. The first website was launched. It shows a parody of the women's group Les Horrible Sonnets. Among its members are female members of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, which also developed the internet for scientists to share data. The photo is the result of a collaboration between scientists from France, Germany, Greece, the Netherlands, and the United States. Previously, the electron density distribution visible in the image existed only in theoretical calculations. The image obtained with the help of photoionization microscope confirmed these calculations. That's it guys, now you have seen 19 of the very first photos, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care and see you in the next video.